Now, you know what I do think is fake? What? The idea that the humanity knows anything about space. Oh, I unironically so find that to be fucking retarded. <laughs> I, I think that's just dumb. When you got all these people wearing glasses like, oh, I can tell you about this big ball of either gas or rock that's like 28 light years away. No, you can't, retard. What the fuck? You just made all this up. You just made all of this up. Stop, stop it. And I, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, Ralph. Sure. See, because I, I asked my wife this question the other day, and she was like, Huh, that's a really good point. And she never compliments me, right? So whenever she gives me a compliment, I'm like, it must be a good one. Now, you know how you can look up at the night sky and you can see shooting stars all through the night. I mean, it's not like every two minutes, but you, you'll see one an hour, at least where I'm at. If you look at the sky, you will see one an hour at least all the time. Now, how come? Now, what we're told is that these are stars that they, they age, and as they age, they, uh, they burn out. Are you flat they, earth? Huh? Are you flat earth? No, I'm not flat earth. Okay. I'm, I'm, what I am is we don't know what the fuck is going on. That's what I am. So, but uh, anyways, it, uh, whenever the stars get old, right, they either lose energy or whatever, then they collapse, and then they just shoot across space. How come not one, not one of the beloved stars in any of the familiar constellations that we hold dear has ever been a shooting star? All of those constellation stars are still there. I mean, think about that, dude. Where are the ones that we see coming from? Oh, just, you know, out there where we don't know about bullshit. I posit that there's something else going on and I don't know what it is. And you'll have to excuse me if that's a little bit of a radical idea. But I, unlike Bill Nye, the science guy, am not going to feed you a line of shit that I don't know. What I will tell you is that those cocksuckers do have, they have no idea what they're talking about. I am positive, positive. The, the, I mean, dude, one of those fucking stars in those constellations should have, should have been dead by now. Absolutely. We're, I mean, we, they've been measuring those constellations for how many thousands of years? Yeah. Fuck off. Okay, look, uh, somebody in chat was saying that shooting stars are just meteors, and I was like, you're a retard. I, and Listen, I'm not going to say I was wrong because I wasn't wrong, but I was almost wrong. So I'll give you a little bit of credit, okay? I just did a quick Google search, and I'm like, oh, my God, please tell me. Please tell me I didn't think the entire time that, that uh, like, no shooting stars were stars. That's not the case. Some shooting stars are stars. I'm looking at it right now. And apparently the only kind of shooting star that is a star is what they tell us, right? This is what they taught us when I was a fucking kid, okay? I'm just telling you. Is uh, What do they call these things? Um, supernovas. The death of a massive star or supernova, supernova. That's whenever it shoots across the sky in a big, huge explosion, right? And it even says that it can create other stars, which I don't fucking believe. I don't know how the – none of that makes any sense to me. So basically, even, even if I was wrong, and meteors are the only thing that's, that look like shooting stars, which they're not. I just saw it on this website. But even if that were the case, and say say whenever a star dies, it's just like turning the light bulb out. How come none of the stars and all of the constellations that we tr keep track of have ever gone out? What are the odds of that? Not good. All I'm saying is we don't know what's going on up there. That's, that's for fucking sure. I don't believe that we do. Oh, God, I just dropped my phone. Um, Anyways, go ahead, Ralph. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. What do you want me to say? That? Jack Roberts, I need you to stop. I need you to stop. You don't work for NASA. I don't work for NASA. You have to realize that you and I are on the same level here, right? Stop talking to me like you know more about this than me because all you're doing is repeating the same shit that my fifth grade science teacher did to me. And I don't give a shit about that. All that shit's stupid. None of us have ever been to space. Only a very tiny, tiny group of already rich elite people have ever claimed to have gone to space. And I'm just telling you, none of it adds up. None of it adds up to me. So, fuck off. You know, I'm a kind of, I will say, I kind of, I believe in the whole space thing that they went up there and all that. Okay, that's cool. But, I mean, we have had many people who don't believe in that uh, on the show, so... Yeah, I mean, I think that, like, in orbit, I think it's a little bit different. It's a lot different than um, than being, like, out in deep space where there's no gravitational pull. Because if there's gravitational pull affecting you from Earth, right, I mean, not, no, not that. But if you're in orbit, you are still very, very slightly protected by the Earth's atmosphere, right, uh, more than you would be outside of its gravitational influence. Now, why is that important? Because of the cosmic rays and the protection against them that you would have if you were in orbit versus like, I don't know, just out in the middle of deep space nowhere. Okay. And so whenever you do the math on the, the radiation that comes to you in space and you factor in like 
just all of this different shit. Like if any if any speck of dust just so happens to be floating through space, if it if it exists as the way they told us it existed as a kid, and it hits you as an astronaut while you're you know floating on a fucking planet or whatever the fuck you're doing in space, you're dead. A grain of sand kills you. <laughs> not Chaos acolytes sent ten dollars. Here's my waggy bucks towards the goal. Uh oh, getting Late damn charge. good at printing t-shirts. Killstream design coming oh, soon. Oh shit! Yeah, hit me up on that. Oh, we got a late charge. We got like 14 minutes left. I'll just call it 15. Uh, maybe even give it 20. We'll see. Uh, if we if we miss the goal, I have to play the womp, womp, womp again. And if we hit it, then, you know, we get the, the clap sound effect. I'll save it, though, for if we hit that golden, that golden goal, Dingo. If we get the late golden goal. <laughs> Homo Trollius said Dingo Armstrong. <laughs> No, never mind. I'm, I'm not going to. No, no, I'm not fucking with you. And I'll tell you, at the core of what I'm getting at here is that creation is not, I don't believe creation to be something that man can ever comprehend, even on like a, a middling level. Oh. Zvival sent $10. Happy ML Floyd Day. Got my shoe polish. <laughs> ready to celebrate in blackface. I is a trans nigga. Uh -huh. Oh, you can't say that now. That's, oh, these damn Australians always fed posting. They were black. That person's black, though. They can oh, that guy was black? Oh, it's cool then. Yeah. I mean, the clip, the guy was black. All yeah, right. So now, we're 66% of the way there. Late charge toward four hours. Look at Chaos X with the, <laughs> oh, that's sick here, by the way. <laughs> look at all these fucking, look at all these robots. Dingo, just stop. No, you, what you are, you are fucking robot slaves to the system. You are so indoctrinated that you know everything about space. Think about it. What do you Now, know what got you space? thinking this? Huh? What got you on this track? Did you always well, have I mean, doubts about space? The absurdity. The absurdity. Uh -oh. Master 33 sent $15. Happy Stanley Levison Day. I don't know who that is. I actually don't either, but I know that name is familiar, so I had to Google well, it. It's the absurdity of man. Oh, and, the guy and, behind him, okay. Some of his investor. Anyway, go ahead. It's it's the chutzpah that we believe that we can dictate what we we can proscribe what creation is, that we have all the answers, even if it's two and a half billion light years away, we know exactly how everything started, we know how it's gonna end. We can sit here and uh, break down the complexity of what a soul is to fucking stardust. What? No, that's bullshit. I'm no, not wait, what does that got to do with going up to space, though? Well, I'm just saying, if like if they're telling us that well, the universe you came from, could believe in God nothing, and still say we went to space? Really? I mean, what? You could believe in God and all that. And this still is not a religious it. argument. Okay, I'm just saying. I mean, it sounded what, I, what I'm saying is all of this stuff, everything. Like the fact that, that we're able to have life on this planet, that life on this planet is perfectly suited to us, it is indicative of intelligent, intelligent design. Uh oh. Even Chartstale yep, sent $15 more show plaza. More show. <laughs> we hit the goal. We'll get the a cheer in a second. lie about everything sent $3. Thank you, Dingo, for questioning everything. I downloaded David Weiss' Flat Earth Clock app, and now I'm convinced everything the system pushes is a lie. <laughs> All yeah, right. Nice, nice draw, man. Uh-oh. God damn it, here we go. Hyphen sent $3, Dingo. I've seen images of NASA that are totally not 3D rendered. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Everything we know about this shit is given to us by who? I mean, just, uh, just, it's just a fact that it's given to us by the same people that give us all the other bullshit. And whenever I look around at the beauty of creation and how everything works perfectly, there no, nothing gets wasted in nature. And that alone, my friend, is a miracle that it's hard to put words to. And you're going to tell me that it all started on accident with the Big Bang. Fuck off. No, you have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Giga Ninja sent $3 just took a massive dookie at a Starbucks. This is how we fight back against libtards. I don't even disagree with that at all. I endorse it. Taking huge shit at Starbucks? Yeah, dude. Don't, and don't buy anything while you're there either. Well, I have had a few Starbucks as we've done Tequila Sunrise over the, <laughs> over the past few months. <laughs> Rabbi. Rabbi Menachem Mendel Schneerson sent $3 space travel is a Jewish construct. They needed to sexualize the experience, which is why we went to the moon in 69 and every space rocket is shaped like a penis. <laughs> it's not aerodynamics. Sent $10. Great week to you, sir. Thank you, fucko. I appreciate it. You, you that. have to understand, people, that whenever you sit here and grandstand like you know everything that the astronauts know because somebody told it to you, you have to understand how retarded you look.
None of us have ever been up to space. None of us have, have been outside orbit. None of us have ever been in orbit. I'm positive that nobody listening to this has been into fucking orbit on a space station. None of you been on a rocket. You are with None us in Vegas. Our atmosphere. I've never seen <laughs> this reaction other than this one topic. Like everybody becomes a goddamn scientist whenever you start talking about the fact that you are just human and you don't know what is going on with creation, which is the only logical stance that I could think that a human could fucking have. I mean, the only people that tell us what it, what it is is the same people that fucking lie to us about everything else. And yet here you are, like they're a little lap dog. You want to chastise me and act like I'm just some retard, right? Because I'm not believing that man can actually interpret, understand, and just fucking put on paper the beauty and the miracle that is creation. Fuck you. You're, you. You will never sound as fucking... Aiden Chartsdale sent $3. This dono is from the moon. I'm spray painting Dingo is actually retarded on it. Yeah, dick your mom's I can box three dollars. Right Look, Dingo, we made it to the moon and broadcasted it with the technology equal to the digital watch, but we lost the original footage and we can't do it anymore. Great point, Hyphen. I don't know who that Hyphen guy is, but he's always on point. Exactly. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't even like talking about the moon landing because <clears throat> that's something that people, I, I used to do it myself. I used to think that like the moon, I used to believe that, I still believe it was fake, but my take on it about a year ago was, yeah, it's fake, but I don't want to talk about that because that's kind of like the we was kings of white people. We need that accomplishment. Well, I, I just don't fucking think that that's the case anymore. I, you know what I mean? I, I believe that the pure and broad <laughs> truth is Black women did that. Women. What are you talking about? Those are, those are three black secretaries figured everything out <laughs> or else we wouldn't have went to the moon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it went from white we was kings to just we was kings. <laughs> just, yeah, well, you know, I'm a big believer in space, I have to say. And so I haven't really seen I mean, anything don't get me wrong, ever I think there's something me. up there. I'll just I say just, this. I'm just for my and I'll let you take it again. Huh? I'll just say this. I have not seen any convincing argument that space and all that shit is not real and that all that didn't happen uh and that we didn't go up there and do all that uh the I, stuff i have seen looks really exist. dubious and it sounds like somebody trying to sell you a fake watch in Times square or something like yeah, that well, so. by the way i'm not selling anything firstly but i, I i'm not saying space no no, no i mean exist. it's not an attack i'm just telling you yeah yeah go ahead yeah I'm, I'm i'm not saying space doesn't exist what what i'm specifically getting at is that all of the shit that's in the textbooks that we read in third, fourth, and fifth grade, all of that shit was made up. I do believe that the people that made it up, they, they took all the information that they could get based on their observations, and they said, this uh, is probably Trump how it is. $3, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is Dingo Tom to ground control. <laughs> You've really made the grade. And the papers want to know whose shirts you wear. Now it's time to leave the capsule if you dare. This is Dingo Tom to ground control. I'm stepping through the door. It's fantastic. Odyssey Super Chat. I see it. Where is it? Oh, MC Denton. It's the pregnant sticker. I don't even know how to announce that one, but uh, got to add it to the tally there. Uh, above and beyond. Thank you, guys. The late charge. We didn't even, we still had five minutes left. Two. What the you know, fuck? We had five minutes left in the hour. Holy I smokes. think maybe, yeah, I think I was on I was on the way there to actually describing what I'm talking about here. Because I'm not saying space is fake. I'm not saying the earth is flat. But think of it like this, okay? Like for a long, long time, oh, that'd be crazy. we've been reading in science books about deep, uh, the, the deep ocean and what's down there. And isn't that, and these are things that they, they admitted that they don't know. But they're basing this stuff off of fossils. Now, not too long ago, I'll, I'll Google the fucking name of the fish. I can't remember. But there was some fish that we were all taught as children. And. Up until like I think 2000 and fucking what, uh, 18, we were taught that this was a fish that existed millions and millions of years ago because they found fossils of it and they, they guessed that where it lived on, you know, what ocean it lived in, what depth it liked and all this stuff until some fucking fishermen caught one. Guess what? They're not even close to extinct. Right. But all of that information that was put in those textbooks, that those were observations and guesses that they made on the surroundings, the, the observations of, of the surroundings that they grew up around. Right. So you look at your environment, you try to interpret it, and then you put down a story that makes sense. That's what they did with this one fish in the ocean. And I'm saying that's exactly what they've done with the planets and then all this fucking supernova star does this and a shooting star does this and blah, blah, blah. That's what they did with Alien space. Alien Chartsdale sent $3. My name is Dingo and I am not schizo posting. Yeah, but I'm unironically not. 
So, I mean, you know, you can sit there and do that all day. Thanks for the money for Ralph. Because <laughs> guess what? I get half of those on week sh- weekday shows. It's, it's just that space is not. That was a new arrangement. The way it worked. What I'm saying is I don't know what it is. And I'm sure that I'm sure that what they tell us is probably – Pretty close, I guess, but I don't believe that they fucking know what Jupiter's made up of. I don't believe that they fucking know the gravitational pull of Saturn. I don't fucking believe that. I mean, they can't even make their own mind up whether Pluto's a planet or not. Like, I don't believe that they know what they know. I'm, I'm just telling you, they know a basic amount just like we do. And then everything else that they make up is fucking Indiana Jones fiction. It Prove did, me wrong, motherfuckers. You it, can't. And did you say space is not fake, but is very gay? Is what he said. I don't know about that. That doesn't sound like it follows. Well, I mean, that makes sense to me. Oh, let me find that fucking fish. What fish that was? He says not fake, but it's just really gay. I think that that's that's how I would describe it too. Aiden <laughs> Chartsdale sent three dollars. Dingo is from Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter. Oh, I see what you did there. That was pretty good. All right, now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do we? I mean, we could take callers today too if people want to call in. I don't know. I yeah, yeah, all you fucking astronauts, call in. Is somebody call in, science expert here. Somebody because here's the thing: once, you, once you start space? trying to argue for this shit, you're gonna realize just how little you know. <laughs> Should we throw out the link? See if people want to call in. All right, why not? All right. Please, and I will do. I will do something very undingo like. I will give you two minutes without interrupting you at all, no matter what you say. Well, I don't believe that. I, I don't either, but I'll do my best. Bob underscore Renard sent $3 dingo. How do you explain the lunar laser raging equipment that was installed on the moon during the Apollo 11 and Apollo 15 missions? The what? Uh, well, I can go back and read it. Uh, hold on. Uh, dingo, how do you explain the lunar laser raging equipment? that was installed on the moon during the Apollo 11 and Apollo 15 missions. Sounds Jewish. No, I'm playing. <laughs> no, that's my whole, listen, that's, I don't know what yeah. that is. I don't know what that is. But what I'm saying is like, how do you explain that it's there? How do you explain any of it? You can't. All you can do is repeat. All you can fucking do is repeat. And I'm sorry, that's not good enough for me. Okay. Uh, again, somebody call in. We need. Oh boy, it just fucking filled up. Actually, good, Cooper, we know good. where you. We know where you stand. Komodo, go ahead. Can you hear me? Oh boy. Hello. I know we got a delay in here sometimes too, so I'll wait. What are you broadcasting from the moon? Hey, oh, like I see him messing with his mic. Yeah, that's on your end, man. I'll give you another chance to jump in first. Uh, okay, can you hear me? You don't have to mute yourself when you go into the green room, by the way. It mutes you automatically. Can you hear me? Yeah, you need to go in and press that cog down at the bottom of the screen and change your audio source because it's not picking up your microphone. So we won't be able to hear you until you do that. Maybe Alien push Chartstil to talk sent $3 dingo logic. No one can prove how this man made equipment was put on the moon. It's literally impossible. Komodo, I can't hear you, man. Hold on. Let's try and, somebody and, else, and then we'll see if their shit works. Go ahead. You want to respond? I, I agree with that point that the, that the guy just made, but here's the thing. He's trying to make it as like an own to me, not even realizing that it's an own to you. Nobody can fucking prove any of this shit. We just have to believe everything they tell us about it. Oh, hey, guys, we went to the moon. We put a fucking badass space laser on it, and guess what? We're going to be living up there in about 100 years. Okay. And then somebody out in the crowd's like, wait, that doesn't really sound feasible. What about this and that? What about, how did you broadcast it from the moon? And this retard in Chad is going, hey, 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 stop questioning the astronaut. He just told us they put a badass laser on the moon. Why don't you believe him? And I'm like, okay, uh, it just sounds a little bit hard to do. Uh, sounds a little bit tedious there. Komodo. But, sure. Komodo, can you hear us? Can you speak now? Yeah, you're going to have to work on that. All right. Max Keeble, can you hear us? Fuck. Why is this happening, Dingo? Hey. Okay, what's up? Hey, yeah. Oh, I one sec. Even Chuck sent $3. Imagine not having a moon condo to summer in. Dingo is a poor confirmed. Go ahead, caller. <laughs> sure. So I want to say, uh, not only is it, or I just want to say it's anti-Christian to not believe in space. 
I mean, the Bible constantly talks about God making and controlling the stars. That's how the wise men got to Jesus by tracking the North Star. It's, I mean, everything in the Bible is related to space and the stars. And even if you're, even if you're like a wignat and you're a pagan, everything that they believe has to do with the stars and space and everything else. So not believing in space, it's anti-Christian. It just doesn't make sense. Tell this caller, Ralph, that I never said anything like space doesn't exist, stars don't exist. Will you please tell him that I never made that claim once? Because he's not going to believe me if I tell him. You didn't say that. You said we didn't go to the moon. Oh, that's goofy. Why? Why? Why didn't we go to the? Of course, you went to the moon. Okay, were you there? Yeah, I was. No, was I wasn't there. Anybody that but... anybody you know there? Can you explain to no. me how we do a live video broadcast from the fucking moon to Earth? That's can you, goofy. Can you That's that? like saying, does anyone? Oh, okay. Well, does do you know anyone who was there when Jesus was born? You know, it's like okay. Fine. You know? Exactly. Exactly. You, you want to play a faith that game? Thing it's like, you. okay, that's, there's no proof thank you. for anything. Nothing thank you ever for that existed. Point. The only thank thing that, that exists is, is you I, and me, and that's it. it. You just made my argument, caller. Thank you. This is a religious experience for people. It is not something that they could fucking say, here's a fact, here's a fact, here's a fact. You have faith in the moon landing. And now I say well, that, I've that, seen that the is videos. wrong. Having faith in Jesus is not wrong, right? I've seen the Having videos. Having faith in the moon landing is. You've seen the videos. I've seen the videos. What video? I don't have to have faith. Videos of the moon landing. Them doing the yeah, bouncy thing on the moon, taking those big steps. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. I mean, I guess all we all have to do is just believe the videos we see. Cool. Well, yeah, it's a video. It's kind of how, how we do things, you know? So what was the uh, benefit? I mean, you see- seen Avatar. What was the benefit to lying about going to space? And the Russians were trying to go to space at the same time. How did they? Were they in on the fix, too? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, well, that's not very convincing, Dingo. I hate to tell no, you. No, I'm not trying to convince you that I know what's, what's happening. That's my whole argument is I don't fucking know. I mean, and neither do they. Well, their whole argument is, yes, they know, and they're telling you this is what happened. Dingo is right, sent $3. <laughs> Kubrick made the moon landing videos. No, their whole argument is, yes, we do know, and here's what happened, and here's all these no, scientific facts. That, and, but my argument well, is, allegedly, I don't know, know, and they don't know. They're lying about that. Well, well, they're saying they know. All the calculations they did to get there and, you know, everything else like that. You know, be an astrophysicist or is that fake? Is that So, is if that the Americans faked it, what? The Russians are just going to, they just gave up on space and anything they did after in space was part of the fakery? This makes no sense whatsoever. I'm sorry. That's my opinion. That's my opinion on it, but. Totally agree. What, Just what wanted to say no that. Sense? I shut up, caller. Don't 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 try to fucking act like you know. Yeah, see, Ralph is saying is a uh, shut the fuck up, Ralph. No, Ralph is no right. You're, you're you're saying there's no motivation for this or something. I just don't see how it works. How you say, like, what? What are the Russians in on it? Multi, you know, nations working together to fool us, and I mean, who had every I reason could, to be competing against each COVID. other? I can say the same thing about COVID. None of this makes any sense. Why are all these nations working together? But we all know that this is yeah, fake. Yeah, but they're not. They kind of. It's kind of jumbled. Like I don't know that there has been a super coordinated response to COVID really worldwide, at least. Um, they're all in the same narrative, absolutely, over something that we know. Certain ways, is fake but there are shit. some standout countries, Orban and some others. Um, even some states here in the United States, Florida and elsewhere, Texas. Um, so, I mean, there's some exceptions, right? Um, but you can I just tell don't COVID's see. COVID's faking gay with the moon. There's like, you know, there's video a that we fake... see it happen. Hey, dumbass, I'm not saying the moon doesn't exist. Jesus fucking Christ. Can any of you groypers not troll man somebody? Can it's, any of you groypers do that? Just moon wait. landing. Yeah. Now, yeah, landing. Now, again, uh, I just don't see how you how that works and all these nations are in on it. Then you, and again, I know it's the old trope, but it's like, you have to have so many people in on it. I don't know. I, well, I, not really, not in this case. I mean, who has to lie about the fact that, that we went to the moon? Just us, right? The Russians, the Chinese, the Americans, I don't know, everyone. Well, I mean, how about this? The Chinese, I'm glad I'm you an asset. Up. I think it was like a little over a year ago. The Chinese, they fucking claim that they landed on the moon and they posted video of, of, of their uh, little robot rolling all over the moon. And everybody, everybody was like, that's fake. And it looked a whole hell of a lot more convincing than our fucking moon video. So wh- why is that? Why, why was everybody so quick to say that they didn't go to the moon, but nobody will say that about us? Like, I never said that. that. I don't know. I, I don't remember what you're talking about, really. But I, I will fucking Google it for you right now. All right. Send you a link. Well, if it was fake, I don't know what it has to say. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Didn't, they I said it really was fake. Know. Well, if they <laughs> NASA said it was fake, I'll probably go with NASA. Paramedic sent $3, Dinko. This is settled science. 
Boys are from Venus because they have a weenies. Girls are from Mars because they have boobs. <laughs> it's hard to refute that, oldie. Well, I mean, that's hard to argue with. You might be changing my mind. All right. Uh, Max, you got anything else, brother? No, that's it. Thanks, Ralph. Thank you, man. I appreciate having you calling. Uh, Big Tech Onion, go ahead. If you can, we can't hear you. Oh, there's a delay, though, I think, right? Hello. Yeah, what's up, yeah, what's up man? Dude, Dingo, you thought that shooting star, our stars burning out and flying across the sky. <laughs> oh, my God. You've been looking up at shooting stars your and whole you life. Know you know what's funny to me is that you and sat you in the green room for fucking seven or eight minutes. You sat in the green room for seven or eight minutes, totally calm, cool, and collected, probably not making a fucking peep. But as soon as you get on here, you want to feign laughter for effect. That's pitiful, dude. dude. That's I've pitiful. Been I, I, mean, I can't imagine laughing for effect. <laughs> what you're saying is so stupid. <laughs> Shut up. I'm stupid for laughing at your stupidity. One the sec. system is One built sec. on lies to control you. Sent $3. How hard is it to understand that the entire system is built on lies? It's all fake and a gay op to control the people. Dingo has seen through the matrix. Thank you, Dingo or Justice. Go ahead, caller. You're welcome. So, Dinga, you've been seeing shooting stars your whole life, right? Oh, you yeah, look up at the sky and you see them. Mm-hmm. And the whole time. QOO percent $3 big fed onion. Big fed LOL. onion now. Dingo, you're the man. It is all Freemason shit. Also, it is time 100%. Cheers. Go ahead, big tech. So right up until today, you think it was with numbers burning out and flying across the sky. You you cut out. What'd you say? It cut out a little bit. So right up until today, you thought those were stars burning out and flying across the sky, huh? Those are stars burning out. A, a shooting star is a star burning out. Not all of them, but I just googled it. Some of them are. Is what the science? That's what the science says. Shouldn't I believe the science? You think some of them are stars burning out? What I think is that they tell us that the big ones that explode and go out, they fade throughout the sky, that kind of shooting star, they tell us that that's a star dying. My whole argument to even bring it up Nobody is that that sounds like that. bullshit. What so, no, I don't believe that those are stars. Even, that was my whole point. Understand what you're you not, just you don't even want to listen. You just want to fucking dunk on somebody. That's fine. You picked the wrong nigga, motherfucker. You're not going to ever dunk on me. But go ahead. Keep going. It's pronounced a wigger, but anyway. No, 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 please, go ahead, dunk you on still, me. Please, you still please. just tried looking it up, and you still don't even understand what it is. What is it? Tell me. It's a little piece of debris burning up in an atmosphere. Now, have you ever collected a piece of this debris? Have you ever even looked through a telescope at any of this debris? Or what are you doing? I'm telling you that's what the definition of the phenomenon is. No, 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 is, no, no, no. There's no definition of these things that are observable, right? I mean, some of these things. But, like, you have to be able to prove what you're saying. Now, where did you get the information that that's just a piece of debris floating throughout wherever? Where did you get that? That's the definition of what a shooting star is. You realize you're not saying anything to me, right? No, I am. You just don't get it. No, no, because you don't want to answer because the answer is somebody that I am subservient to told me the definition and I'm here repeating it to you, Dingo. No, that's I, the I only thing that you have. That's the only thing you'll ever have. Understand what they told you and you made up in your retarded brain that, oh, that's a, sh- a burning out star flying across. No, the I just sky. fucking looked that Nobody up. Said- that's what that's what the fucking shit says. Jesus H. Christ, what, dude. What, what shit says that? Post a link, dude. Nobody says that. Yeah, let me find it. I just fucking had it. I was sitting there looking at the China fake moon landing thing. There's supernova. That star's exploding. Completely different than a shooting star. Where'd you get that information? Dude, look up Where'd an you get any of this information? Just tell me, where, where did you get that about the supernova? About. about this big, huge ball of energy and light and gas that you could never even fathom. But we can, we can actually fucking sit here and tell you how it comes into being, how it goes out of being, and what happens to the atmosphere around it when it dies. You, you realize that you are talking about things on a godly nature. You are not 
somebody who can sit there and detail what happens in something that big of a scale. And what my argument is, none of us are. And not even the really smart people with glasses that told you that's how it works. Dude, not even the dumbest fifth grader thinks it's a star blowing up and flying across the sky when they see us shooting star. Any, any kid who's gone to earth science class knows that a shooting star is a piece of space debris of whatever type flying through our atmosphere, catching on fire as it has friction going through the atmosphere. That's the definition. That's the idea. It was never the idea that it's a blown up star flying through space and you're witnessing it <laughs> while you're looking at the stars. But that's what you thought up until now. Hyphen sent $3 onion. Show me your kindergarten credentials so I know you have learned how to speak. Oh, that's who this is? Yeah. Oh, it, fuck, I didn't even recognize your voice. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, well, it may, totally makes sense why you're sitting here cooking for the fucking textbook narrative. Yeah, dude. W what a joke. It's like, what an absolute joke. You don't know anything about any of this. You, you don't, just know, you don't what, even they know told, what, what they the tell you. That's all you is. know. You don't, you don't even know what the normal definition of the idea is that we're talking about is you have like the wrong concept and then if you deep that to your wife listen. when she gave you respect like yeah that is a good question oh, no. John Bolton sent $10 left you a beautiful video on discord heart hey Ralph how's it going partner you got some bad umber on your tail haha <laughs> I'm going great thank you Mr. Bolton also there's some other super chats here uh, I saw are you, are you married over on entropy I'm not I used to be. No, not you. I will be again soon. What, are you talking to him? I don't know. Are you big tech? You can answer if you want. I don't know. I was. Okay. I was. I'm not going to fucking use that against you, right, because that's probably a sad story. But I would ask you not to fucking mention my wife again at all in any context. Okay. I'll, I'll mention your wife if I want. Okay, well, your your wife left you because you're a fucking beta, and she's probably <laughs> under a buck right now. You realize wait, that, now right? Wait, she's probably what did he say about your wife? I didn't, Tyrone, no, wait, I, I didn't find it fucking hilarious. Now, wait, I you didn't can't hear. even keep a marriage together. You want to get a fucking wait. nasty motherfucker? We could do that. <laughs> what did he say? I didn't hear what he said. I he was hear. married, but he's not now. No, I heard he that, but what did he say about your wife? I missed that part. I'm sorry. I, really no, I mean, I don't, I don't remember, actually, but it pissed me off. Okay. Oh, he said, I'll say whatever I want about your wife. I heard that part. I meant the first time. I didn't hear the first mention as well. I don't remember either. I mean, I just remember hearing him say your wife. And so I just okay. very politely asked to let's not go there. And he's like, no, I'll go yeah, there. Yeah, that's true. So you how about this? That. Your wife's going to be having mulattoes real soon because you were not man enough to keep her at the fucking house. So fuck you. Okay. So yeah. I mentioned your wife. Oh, you, brought what? Her up. You, said that, what? You, you said that your wife doesn't give Do you, you respect. you live in a single bedroom apartment? Have good ideas. Except for when you gave her the dumb shooting star how, thing, and she agreed with your logic. How much your rent in your single bedroom apartment now that your wife is fucking Tyrone in your old house? My wife, you're a joke, dude. Fine. You're a fucking. And joke. I got a healthy, got a healthy. Guess what, everybody? We went to space. We know exactly I'm what Jupiter sure. is. Okay, I've actually seen it with my own eyes. And then Dingo, stupid. That's your fucking argument here, and you're a faggot. I looked at the stars with my son this weekend. How many sons do you got? I didn't hear. I didn't understand you. It was probably gay anyway. Don't bother me. All right, now I'll let me read this. I got a couple super chats here. Uh, Malcolm X had one. Uh, why is Dingo denying all the hard work of the brave German scientists who helped the white man conquer the moon? Their achievements should be celebrated, uh, is what Malcolm True. Is True. What Malcolm said. Dep22 says, Ethan, all the world scientists aren't colluding. They're retards. Weir or says, were all the medieval doctors colluding? Also, a flat earth boxer debate would be very interesting, even if pointless. Yeah, that's kind of. I don't awesome. believe in flat earth. Um, now, well, yeah, so that was something I, I talked about earlier. I'll say something hold on, wait, I, I wait, think hold they, on. They, put, wait, wait, wait. Put a pen in it for just one sec so I can read this. Yeah. CJ Siegel right. says, One thing that always blew my mind is that everything we see in space, be it stars, constellations, etc., is actually an after image because of the speed light takes to cover the vast distance. Not saying that's the truth, but Dingo made me think of that. Also, does Dingo like Algorand crypto? Um, I... I lost my ass on Algorand when I first got into crypto. Now, keep in mind, this was like the first week or two that I was in it. So uh, it doesn't mean that Algorand is bad uh, because I lost my ass on it. I was just brand new. I don't know a lot about Algorand, 
I know that it went on a couple of good runs. I don't know anything about the blockchain or if it is a blockchain or if it's like a bridge. I don't actually know what it is. I will do some research, though, and if Ralph will allow a couple of minutes, I'll give you an answer next time I'm on. Sure. Yeah, I'd like that. Uh, all right, now go ahead, Big Tech. What I say about space is that the atheistic space worship is gay, but taking a healthy interest in having – uh, a deep curiosity about the natural world and what we see through telescopes and other type of technology is very based. And God yeah, created I don't, I don't the whole world, including all the universe we can see out there. I don't disagree with that at all. I don't disagree with that at all. And what I'm talking, what, what I believe, if you want to, I don't ever talk about religion, but what I believe is that God created the universe. And I do believe that it is, it is healthy for us to try to look around and observe and then write down what we can observe. What I'm saying is our ceiling of observation was a long time ago. That's what I believe. I don't believe that we as men, as human beings, have the capacity to really prescribe what is going on with creation. I believe that our understanding hit a ceiling and that they, the people who fucking tell us all this bullshit ever since, are the same people who have to seem, they have to have the world think that they know everything. Because why else would we do every dumb fucking thing they tell us if we don't think that they're better than us and smarter than us and they can comprehend things that we can't? My point is they're just like us and their brains are not big enough, their minds are not big enough either to understand God's creation like that. That's my fucking belief. And then you're here sitting here as a fucking patsy of the state Herder Dingo thinks we don't know everything. Jack Roberts is smarter than Dingo sent $3 who told you about Dingoes. Did you see a Dingo?